and welcome to Getting Your Money's Worth, the show that focuses on value. I'm Judith West, and our guest today is Stacy Wells, Entertainment Director, Program Director of USO of Metropolitan New York. Hi, Judith. Hi, Stacy. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. So, uh, wow, USO goes back a long way. It to does. The day, to the days of Frank Sinatra. It does, uh, uh, even earlier than that. Even earlier than uh -huh. that. How long has USO been in existence? Well, it started right here in Times Square in 1941, so looking right at about here. 68, a little over 68 years. And, it's, and you guys have been alive and well all those years? We have. Um, the USO supports family members and military. Uh, throughout the, the United States and internationally. So whether or not there's a conflict going on, there are always service members stateside who need us. Right. So, and right now, of course, you are, um, we're, in the, we're in the midst of two war zones. So mm -hmm. right now, you must be very busy. We are. Yeah. Okay, so tell me something. Um, how has the USO changed since the World War II, you know, <laughs> Uh, Marilyn Monroe, Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra days? Well, the U.S. was always changing because our de main demographic is an age range of 18 to 26 year olds. So as, as the world changes and entertainment changes and needs change, we have to change along with that. Um, so any, any of our stars going, you hear the more contemporary music, that's what we want. So you're still there. about entertaining? We are, but we're only 20% entertainment uh, as far as our programs and services are concerned. We have 80% of other programs and services that a lot of people don't know about. Like what? Uh, we have uh, call, call Home, which is a phone card. Okay. What is that, a phone card? It's a, a prepaid phone card uh, that the USO sends free of charge overseas and stateside to military. And, and that was a very popular during the holiday time. It was very popular and it still is. Um, we, we do We've done over 20,000 out of our office in uh, 2009. Well, that's terrific. Yeah. Uh, we also have care packages. When people think of the USO, they think of sending a card over or sending some sanitizers over. Um, so we do what's called a Big Apple Pack out of our office, and it really, it really promotes what New York has to offer. It's not just... Uh, generic brands. It's a salami or it's an iPod <laughs> showing entertainment. Um, right. Hebrew yeah. National, Hebrew National Salami. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So um, our Big Apple Packs, we did about 30,000 of those in 2009 and we just uh, packed 1,500 before, before the holidays and they arrived on Christmas Eve to our Balad Center. So people were very, very excited about that. Right. To what center? Uh, Balad and uh, oh, overseas. overseas. Yes, right, ma'am. Right, right. um, we have our service centers, which are very, very important uh, for each uh, military base or airport. Uh, there are 140 internationally, so whatever the needs of that demographic are, whether it be they have a, a flight delay and they need a place to lay their head at the airport, or they need to come and watch a movie because because they have a break in fighting over in Iraq, or in our center, they may want free tickets that Broadway shows have offered. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. so, so you are kind of, I think, I think you go under the uh, brand of home away from home. Exactly, right. exactly. Yeah. And so what do you do for families of service personnel? Well, we provide families with, uh, one of our really great programs is called United Through Reading, and it's a great way for families to come in and watch a service member read to their children who may be serving in Iraq. They could choose a book, read the book, we'll take the, the CD or the DVD and send it back to the family so that they can connect with their family member who is serving. We also, uh, there, there are so many deployments happening that families are left alone while yeah, their right. loved ones are sent overseas. So we make sure they have all the information they need when moving to a new spot, or if they need any, any financial help, we can send them in the right direction um, and just really be so a you're kind of home. So you're kind of a resource exactly. for, for these families to, exactly. help, to help them, to help mm -hmm. them settle. How, does the, how is the USO funded? The USO is completely nonprofit. It's 501c3. Um, you guys get government money? We do not get any government money. money. And I think that uh, that's a misconception among a lot of people. Yeah, I think so it is too. Corporate donations. What does USO stand for? United Service Organizations. Okay. And, you depend, and you depend completely on private donations? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I, don't think, I, don't think, I didn't know that. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's a pretty commonly thought that it's you know, kind of funded by the military 
department or personnel or something. No. Yeah. So are you guys doing okay in this in this hard economy times? We are. You'd be surprised how many people are extremely supportive of our military right now. As well they should be. Yes, regardless of, of how much money they have, they take a little bit of that and they're still very supportive of our mission uh, to support military. Right. What's the average age of, um, of military personnel that you see? Uh, through our center, we get a lot of retirees and veterans. Just, oh, you do? Uh, yes. Uh, even though that's not our primary um, support base, we, 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 our audience is 18 to 26 young service members that's, and that's their your families. Main, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's, you, get fi you get females too? We do. We do. Not as many, but uh, we do get a lot of females. Yeah. yeah. So then these, when these folks come in, they, um, you, I read something on one of your sites that you, you help with the transition to settling in their home or to getting adjusted to being back. I mean, do you, um, do you sit down and have psychological counseling with folks? Do you offer those kind of services? How do you help with that smoothing out transition? That's a great question. We, uh, a lot of USOs do have different seminars where families can go. Um, there's also a, a sense of loneliness sometimes, so we'll help family members meet other family members who are in the same situation uh, and as you said we we do serve as a resource with um, uh, for other institutions that may be able to to help them we're kind of the ultimate concierge service for for family members yeah well, I think it's terrific yeah. um, the entertainment piece which mm -hmm. is under your direction mm -hmm. I mean do you get Hollywood stars what kind of people do you get do you, do you? we do um, Kid Rock uh, Montgomery Gentry Robin Williams, Gary Sinise, there's so many entertainers right now who are willing to give of their time to, uh, to, to entertain overseas as well as, as stateside. Um, within our office, we have uh, the Liberty Bells, the USO Liberty Bells. And what is that? Uh, they're a group that's of... An old, that's like an old name going it back, is, isn't it? It is. Um, they've been around for a long time as but well. not these bells, but the Not name, these but, bells. But the name, but <laughs> they're the They're looking pretty right, good. Right, they they're looking good. pretty good, but they're right. Um, we just recently auditioned. Uh, they're Broadway and off-Broadway performers. They're all professional entertainers based here in New York City. And they go around the world and perform about 200 shows for the military and their families. Um, the Rock look, singers, dancers, uh, and they, they do the old Andrew Sisters type shows oh, really? for our military. Well, and they're, they're very, very uh, well accepted. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they are. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a touch of, uh, you know, yeah. some, it's, a, it's a break of some frivolity or some, exactly. some, some laughs in what is a very hard press um, mm -hmm. um, for many guys, deployments and redeployments. Yes, yes. Right. The USO is uh, very, very, it, we're thrilled that that is one of our main programs uh, to fund deployments and homecomings. Uh, homecomings too. Homecomings as well. Uh, we like to lift the spirits, not only say goodbye, we like to say welcome home. Um, we just uh, had a homecoming ceremony for 12,000 service members and their families from the uh, New Jersey National Guard who just oh, wow. returned. So where, were you, where was this? That was at the Sovereign Bank Arena in Trenton, New Jersey. Is, oh, really? 12,000? 12,000 people. It filled the arena, and we provided uh, services, games for the children, food, hot dogs, and a huge concert, entertainment. Oh, wow. It must have been. And it must have. Were you there? Did you I was there, It yes. must have been been such a good feeling in your heart it to was. see all of this happening. Yes, and that was that was the first time that the fa their families had seen them as well. And how long? Um, they were gone for 15 months. Wow! And some of them even longer. Yeah. So. Well, these are these these National Guard um, uh, recruits, I guess you would mm -hmm. call them. Uh, they 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 may never well have intended. To have to, to have to been deployed. Absolutely, yes. they are they are on standby, and especially now, a lot of our standbyers are being sent out, and um, like you said, never expected to be. Yeah, when these when when guys come back to the states, um, are they do they feel like they've done such a good job for their country? Are they gratified? Do they come back? Um, are, they, are, are they resentful? How, how, in, in general, I know it's a very broad question, mm -hmm. but what's the general uh, attitude? Well, I wasn't around during Vietnam, but from what I've heard, um, the extreme from then to now is, is huge. And, what, is, um, what do you mean by that? I mean that there, there was a lot of resentment, as you said, during that time, during that but time we time. have really grown, and, and as you asked before, USO has grown in bringing awareness to the public 
uh, to support our military and their families. Uh, many of them are happy to return. Many of them re-enlist because they'd like to go back. And many come back with um, post-traumatic stress disorder, which we also provide resources do for. Do you provide resources for that? We do. Oh, right. to, uh, yeah. The folks that want to come back, they just have this dedication to want to be a help to their country? They do. Uh, I, I was speaking with a friend of mine who just returned from uh, Afghanistan and a lot of what I hear is I left my unit there. I want to go back and help them. Their it's team a real, buddy, a, there is, a real yes. buddy system. And uh, it's, it's no fun over there but they do feel that that's their job. They've volunteered to do this and that's their job. Yeah, thank yeah. God. Th th exactly. Thank God for this country that we have people that feel that way. Exactly. And that we have folks like you. Mm -hmm. you, you, do, you must feel very good about what you do, Stacy. You do God's I do. work. I do. I feel great about it. And you know, I was just speaking with someone about the USO being a way to provide a non-biased opinion on the war and to be completely nonpartisan on what we believe because this is bridging the gap between right civilians and military. Right. This has nothing to do with politics. Exactly. And, and, and with, without that regard what your political philosophy is, these are young people that are fighting to defend mm -hmm. us. Exactly. Okay. How'd you get into this? I was a performer myself and what I were you, became, what were you? Dancer? Uh, I was a singer dancer Dancing. and became a Liberty Bell after oh. doing uh -huh. many other uh, performance jobs in the city. And that that went into the entertainment management and then into director of programs. So you you have services. a hit, you, so you've have a, you've had a history with servicemen. I have, yes. As yeah. a as a performer, you see sides of them that yeah. I don't see anymore. As you a don't person. see right. right so right, right. Uh, yeah, you see it's a whole very range, helpful. You see a whole range of guys. Exactly, right, exactly. Right. Oh yeah, right. So it gives you, it gives you the pick. You get you get the pick of a lot. I know. Yes, right, yes. Right. So. Uh, well. Um, it's, it's a real, it's a real sign of patriotism. It's a, it's a very, it's mm -hmm. a very, it's a, it's a very um, important. I didn't realize privately funded service mm -hmm. organization. Yes, yeah, yes. Right. A lot of people don't realize that. Right. So, do you guys have a fundraising drive? We do. We have a whole development team who, um, who puts together community development um, initiatives, which could be someone in Connecticut who wants to throw a private party at their home or we have uh, large fundraisers annually. Yeah, and folks out there that watch this, they can go to the website, what is it, www.usonyc.org and find mm -hmm. out how to donate. Yes. Yeah, well, as a Liberty Bell and as the, <laughs> you are very, very good representative of the well, USO and I think that um, we should all thank your organization, you and your organization, for providing a very needed service to um, military personnel. Yes, thanks definitely. for being thanks Thank for bringing so on the show. Judith. I'm Judith West. You're watching Getting Your Money's Worth, and we've just uh, spoken to Stacy Wells of the USO. Visit the website and contribute, guys. Thanks for watching.